Bryan County, it's Cassandra, and I'm here with my 1080 Selena, and today we're going to be talking more about 911 education. So what's the topic today, Cass? So Selena, we're going to be talking about what to teach your children about 911. When you dial 911, the phone is answered by dispatchers like us. We work in the dispatch center, which is located in the Poirier Police Department. Our consoles have eight computer screens. We have maps that show our location, where the closest police officer, deputy, ambulance, or fire truck is to your emergency. We have a telephone screen that displays the phone number you're calling from and the radio channels we use to talk to other first responders. During an emergency, remember your safety is most important. Everyone should know how to get to a safe place without putting yourself in danger. Once you're in a safe place, you should dial 911 for help. During an emergency, most adults and kids can be scared or nervous. But that's okay. We are trained to help you stay calm and ask the right questions to get the help to you fast. But know that it is very important to answer all the questions that we ask you the best that you can. If you don't know the answer to a question, never make up a story. It is okay to say, I don't know. Remember, I can't see your head shaking yes or no over the phone call. So it's important to stay calm and speak clearly into the phone. We ask questions like, what is your address? What is your phone number? What type of emergency do you have? When you're prepared to answer questions like these, we can send law enforcement, firefighters, or an ambulance to your emergency. The most important piece of information you can tell me in an emergency is your address. Do you know your address? Do you know your grandparents or your babysitter's address? Even if you are scared or nervous, knowing your address before an emergency happens can help me get help to you quickly. If you live in an apartment, you should know your address and the apartment number. If you live in a trailer park, it is important to know the lot number. Do you know what your mom or dad's full name is? Do you know what their phone number is without finding it on a phone? Knowing your mom or dad's full name, their phone number, or even where they work can help 911 dispatchers contact them in case of an emergency. Do you know if they have any medical problems? Knowing if your family members have any medical issues can help 911 dispatchers like us help them during an emergency. If you're not sure where you are, look around you and tell the dispatcher what you see. Landmarks like a store or a school can help us locate you. When you don't know your address, 911 dispatchers can use other technology to help find where you are. Did you know that you can text 911 if it's too dangerous to call? You can text 911 the same way you text your family or friends. During an emergency, if it is too dangerous to speak on the phone, you can type 911 in the to field. Then type your address and description of the emergency in the message field. Press send and the text will appear on my computer screen. Once I receive the text message, I am able to ask you the same questions as I would if we were talking on the phone. It is important to remember to stay calm and answer all of the questions without using any slang words, emojis, and remember, we cannot accept pictures or videos at this time. Texting should be treated the same as talking over the phone. You should know the address or location and be able to describe what is happening so I know to send the correct first responder. 911 dispatchers can also begin texting you during an emergency. If you call 911 and don't speak English or if it becomes too dangerous for you to talk on the phone, don't hang up. We can text you on the same phone that you're calling from. When I text you, the message is going to come from a phone number that you don't recognize, but when you open it up, I will have let you know that I'm a 911 dispatcher and I'm here to help. You can text me back in almost any language. The text message will appear on my computer in English. It's like a magic translation device. When I type a question back to you, it will appear in the language that you typed to me. No matter what language you speak, or if you are in a dangerous situation and cannot talk, we can still send help. It is important to answer all questions and follow any instructions the 911 dispatcher gives you. Sometimes the 911 dispatcher will ask what seems to you like a lot of questions. It is important to stay calm and answer all of them the best that you can. The more call details we have to give law enforcement, firefighters, and EMTs, the better prepared they are when they arrive at the emergency. If you don't know the answer to any questions, just say, I don't know. As you are answering my questions, my partner dispatcher is giving your answers to the responders over the radio. We work as a team to get them to your emergency with the right tools. Remember, don't hang up. Stay on the line until the 911 dispatcher tells you it's okay to end the call. Do you know how to find the emergency button on a cell phone? 
To find the emergency screen on an iPhone, you must first hold down the on off button at the same time as the volume down button. This will bring up the emergency screen. On the emergency screen, you will see a red emergency SOS toggle button on an iPhone. Swipe that right to dial 911. On an Android phone, you can dial 911 by first hold down the power button until you see an option for emergency mode. Tap it and that will bring up five options, flashlight, emergency, share my location, phone, and internet. Below these options, there will be a button for emergency call. Tap the button and it will verify if you want to call 911. Knowing how to call 911 and being prepared can make you a hero during an emergency. On the next episode of 911 Education, we're going to be talking about working with the fire departments. Until then, we're 107. Remember, we are always here to take your call and text Lyon County. <laughs> song in my head. Desperado. Hey Lyon County, it's Cassandra and I'm here with my 1080 Selena and today we're going to be talking more about 911 Education. Cool. Line. <laughs> <laughs> when you call 911, the phone is answered by dispatchers like us. <laughs> if you are not sure where you are, look around you and tell the dispatcher what you see. Everyone should know how to get to a pub 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 pub. <laughs> Nailed it.